for me, only four days. The tougher for John. His body just doesn't want it to eat and he's you know, he's been a bit sick you know, with, with not eating. So hard. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm about to start, biggest challenge I've ever done and it's taken four months to train for it. It's going to be 740 miles in 21 days and I'm doing it for two charities that have helped out my four year old nephew. He's the inspiration behind my run and he suffers with epilepsy. The days of Garland and Trust and the Imagine Appeal All Day Hospital have been absolutely fantastic and this is my way of trying to give something back and hoping that the amount of miles that I'm going to be covering each day is going to persuade people to um, donate. I'm going to be starting at Newcastle Football Club. I'm going to be passing each and every Premiership stadium in the UK. Day one in the Honda Civic, and John is shitting himself over an Alpet. It's day one. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Um, God, what I've let myself in for. about our William and him getting better and everything else and what it's actually for. End of the first day and what a day it was. Big wake up call. Toodles. Some really low moments of the day. Um, Ended up using signal on my iPhone, so it didn't have the map on there. But if you're gonna have a bad day, it may as well be on the first day when no aches or pains. I'm starting just to think, just get on with it, get out there, run, and hopefully won't have as many horrible moments as I did on Tuesday and Wednesday. That was just horrible when you've got no energy whatsoever and you've just got to get out there and do it and you got your mum following me in the support vehicle and obviously I want to make her proud of me and don't want her yeah, to see me quitting. It's going to be tough, I think no matter how hard you train when you're running 43 and a half miles there's going to be points where you're um, feeling a bit dead but my brother sent me a, a text today. Better to die on your feet than live on your knees. I found it really tough this morning. I didn't expect so many hills coming out of Blackburn and it just seemed to be one big hill after another. So it really hit me. I'm just not able to get any food down the other night or in the morning. I'm just not eating enough to get through the day and just been absolutely exhausted. I feel a bit demoralised today. Surprised him how affected he is in a, a negative way, physically. He didn't think it would affect him like this, um, hill after hill, where he's just getting his energy to, to get up again, to, to start running. He'd go around the corner, it was another hill. I think it was quite daunting, um, but he's powered through them, even though he's been in a bit of pain. So he's, he's doing really well, I'm really proud of him. He's, he told me before the run not to fuss as a mother and I'm finding that hard. So when I, th I think, should I be helping now or should, would that be fussing? I'm get, I don't know what's fussing and what's being a mum. got major chaffage. <laughs> <laughs> not good whatsoever. Looking forward to today, meet me my best friend James and he's going to be cycling from Old Trafford to on to Alderhey Hospital and then on to Everton today. Um, 35 miles in total. You know, 38 miles, it's 
Oh. It was a bit <laughs> easier for me. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was on a boat. I was doing that every day. Yeah, it's been a, a long day today. Couldn't have done it without Jake coming and talking about stuff and keeping me going. Chatting rubbish. Chatting rubbish. I think I've um, done more talking than cycling, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and then just meeting the, these two guys at um, the old Hay, just the 10 miles leading up to it, looking forward to seeing them and knowing that they were going to be there. And then I thought, when I said there was one and a half miles ago, I said it must be the longest one and a half miles ever, but yeah. um, it's great having these guys here and the more people that are here, the better really, and it's helped my day, the best day since we started really, so okay. I'm feeling lucky today. And, Thanks for coming. Yeah, no, I'm here. I've crossed the Mersey now, and that was a big thing for me because of the Yorkshire Dales and stuff. And the other week, I was not sure what was going to happen. Now I'm a bit going into the next week now, and that's going to be tough. But I can do it. I've done the first week. There's two weeks to go, and basically just see what's what. Well, we are at the end of day eight, and um. The first 22 miles and that which was um, it was quite good I did a slower pace so I was hoping it was going to carry on into the rest of the day um, and get back to the hotel for 7 as it turned out we didn't get back to the hotel until got to the Britannia about quarter past 9 and the last 15 miles were just agony my hamstring tightened really really painful um, the only thing that got me through was Jay singing Lady Gaga the edge of glory do you want to give us a little uh, rerun <laughs> no um, but absolutely hilarious and um, I don't want to see Jay go tomorrow so that's going to be a bit of a pain I had a bit of a wobble as we were running up on the A449 I could see my mate Lars who's come to pick up Jay because Jay's been with me the last four days I just did not want him to go I just felt rubbish and then there was 12 miles left into Wolverhampton I said my goodbyes and jogged on and it was a bit rubbish Hello, it's the morning of day 10 and um just forced some breakfast down me. And for the first time, I'm really, really scared about today. And I woke up really, really stiff and I'm a lot of pain. And I've got to do 42 miles today. So I feel a bit sort of for the first time I can't do it today. Which feels rubbish. And I just feel really bad for the first time once. It's so hard. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever done. But I'm just trying to like suck it up and, and get on with it and and I'm just had a really hot bath. And um uh, I've loosened up a little but just the pain is really hard Here we are in Swansea. Um, it should have been day 14 today. Well, it is day 14. Um, but I've decided to take a day's rest and extend the run uh, by one day. Um, went over the Brecon Beacon yesterday and it was just pure hills up. 
Um, but even down, just my painful quads. Um, just really, really sore today. Front of my calf, front of my calf, front of my shin is all sore even to walk today. It takes your breath away. I know it's extending the run by a day. Um, so it's actually going to be 28 marathons, 22 days. Two of them are rest days, so I'm still actually doing all that running over 20 days. So. It's day 19, um, I'm feeling really stressed at the minute, it's 10 past 8, um, I've got to be at QPR for half 12, so I'm really stressing out though, if nothing holds up I'll get there, half an hour to spare, I'm so glad that James is meeting me because I don't know if there's any way I could get through these last four days alone. Had, um, 7.2 run, mile run through the centre of London at 5 p.m. So that was pretty crazy. There's like traffic everywhere, cyclists just weaving in and out. Um, and it's really not the best idea I've ever had. I've had some crazy ideas, but that was not one of the best of them. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Only three days to go now. Right, day 21. It should be the last day, but. Obviously, um, I had to have one day off because I had to have some physiotherapy, which worked wonders, and I've gone from strength to strength with my quads. It's been tough watching him suffer. Um, when he looks like he's beaten, it hasn't been nice. But after that comes him laughing and joking. So that picks you up. Um, I'm absolutely exhausted today and I can't even get going. But one day to go, and I think it's Norwich is already on the signpost, so we're going to see Norwich 40 miles, Norwich 32 miles. My name's Cyril Forey. I'm a trustee on the committee at the Daisy Garland Charity. We're here today to um, greet John Gartland at the end of a marathon run around all the um, Premiership football grounds. What John's doing is absolutely fantastic and basically you can't, no words can describe what he's doing, it's just incredible. 700 miles, an average of about 35 miles a day over the last three weeks and he's ending up at the Norwich City Football Game today and we hope he'll be here in the next half hour to an hour to greet him. Um, I was disappointed with the Norwich one. I, I would have liked maybe more of our family and friends and 
there, you know, to, ch to cheer him when he, he, he came in. The people that did turn up did help him a lot. So if more people did that, I think that would have helped him each day rather than the odd day. I'm so happy that it's actually over. It's been the hardest days of, of my life. My mum has been amazing and I could never thank her enough for what she's done. Um, I do wish it could have had a few more people here to see me at the end, um, but I know myself what an amazing thing I've done. Cheers, everybody. Well done again, fantastic. Thank you all for coming along, help me. Well done. Cheers, guys. Well done.